can you tell me what, how the name Anfield came from? It's the very unique name, I think, Anfield. Well, Anfield's a funny one. Yeah. Um, there are two stories yeah. about why this area is called Anfield. Yeah. First of all, on the very earliest maps, it's actually Anne, and yeah. the woman's name, yeah. Anne, and then it's space, field. So it's just a field owned by somebody called Anne. Yeah. However, we don't know who this Anne is, yeah. which is a bit strange, so we're a little bit confused by this, because the other explanation has got nothing to do with a woman called Anne. Yeah. It's just that this, the, the, the area around here is a hill. Yeah. Anfield is a unique name and it's a unique stadium yeah. and it's ours okay. and that's going to be good news. <laughs> okay, right. Thank you. So this is the famous this sign, is right? Yes. And can you tell me the, the his name once again? I mean, yes. Yeah, this sign was actually made by um, a man called Kenny Myers. Now, he was the head groundsman at Anfield yeah. in the 1970s. It's got to be one of the most famous things, probably, in football. Yeah, I mean, right. And you think how many people have touched it. Right. And even some of the opposition touch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> just for... I don't know, but I, I think it's just one of those things. And yeah. This sign will always, always be at Anfield. It'll never get taken down now. Okay. And we try very hard not to say this is Anfield too often in the stadium mm. because it's important that when you as a supporter come here yeah. to visit, this is what you're building up to. Mm -hmm. This is mm. Anfield. Mm. Of you go through. Yeah, right. We can only put a small amount on display because there's so much yeah. in this collection. It's mm. incredible, but mm. uh, it gives people a little flavor, doesn't it? Mm. Right. Istanbul, 2005, the miracle of Istanbul, some people call it. That incredible game when we played AC Milan, Liverpool were 3-0 down at half-time, it was terrible. But they come back to score three goals, we go to extra time, our goalkeeper makes an incredible save, we go to penalties and our goalkeeper makes an incredible save. The two saves were against Andrei Shevchenko. Liverpool win the Champions League trophy in 2005. Well, here you have what really makes Liverpool, you know, world famous. Our five European Cups. Okay, Champions League trophy, European Cup. But this one is the real special one, perhaps, because it's the real trophy. This is the actual Champions League trophy that we won in Istanbul in 2005. So that's the, that's the trophy Steven Gerrard lifted yes. at the end of the game, right? And the, that's the actual one. That's the actual and your one. Yeah. Solid silver with a bit of gold plated inside as right. well. So it's rather special. And you can keep it because you won it for five times. Yes, right? that's correct. It's the old rule. Old yeah. rule, right? The old yeah, rule. Yeah, the old rule. That's the boot room. <laughs> well, it's a funny name really. And here we are, in, as I say, in a very beautiful cafe. But it's really named after a place where very smelly football boots were mm. hung up to dry, which is a strange thing, perhaps. But what happened was, Bill Shelton, this great manager, arrived Christmas 1959. And he immediately spotted that some of the men working behind the scenes were very uh, difficult and had it good. And he kept them. And he didn't get rid of them. Because the tendency now in modern football is a man who comes in and brings his own team with him and the other team has to go.